Hello and welcome to Random Tech Info. Today we're going to be unboxing the M5, a phone so small and so thin, it's supposed to be able to fit in your wallet. Will it? Let's find out. Let's go ahead and open her up here. Okay. Okay, well, card phone, made in China, I'm in America, so hopefully the president is not watching um, this video. Okay, the world's first ultra-thin card phone. Okay, well, let's see. We've got the uh, arrows here. Keypad, let's see. We've got the M5 user manual. It has a loudspeaker on it, which I find interesting. I um, was not expecting that. A function key, a dial key. Microphone, of course, for making those calls. A color screen, a delete key, and a hang-up key. A spot for our SIM card and for charging. Pretty simple. Uh, you know, certain phones you get now come with basically a packet or a very thick book of instructions. This apparently does not need it. Um, size, type, it's called a bar phone. Don't know what that is. It does have a one inch OLED display. So lest you think they are uh, being stingy with the tech, they are not. Uh, 320 milliamp hour battery, which is tiny, but it would need to be for the phone to be this small, and I assume it will not be using um, will not be using much power. It does have Bluetooth, um, supports Chinese and English language, and uh, has FM support. So it actually it actually has more features than I thought it would, to be honest. Um, okay. There she is. Not too bad. Got a little bit of a little bit of heft to it, but still pretty light, which it would need to be to of course fit in your wallet. And uh let's see if it turns on. I hope it turns on. Um let's see. Okay, so um, we're back. Um, this is the phone. I believe it to be charged. Uh, this is the little cable that came with it that you saw in the box during the um, unboxing. Um, micro USB seems to have done the job. I think I figured out how to turn it on, so let's try it. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. It's actually... Uh, it's actually louder than I thought it would be. Um, I charge this thing just just for full disclosure. I charge this thing for like seven or eight minutes, and you can see the battery indicator on it is full. I don't know if that's just because I was too slow to figure out how to turn it on before, and it was already partially charged, or if it fully charged that fast. I am planning on doing a review of this phone. Um, more about that later, but for now, just know. Uh, it does have the battery indicator. It's there. Uh, it's got the, the Bluetooth indicator on it, so I guess that's turned on. It's got the little note there, so I guess the sound is on. Um, and it's got a little signal indicator. Now, I don't know what that, that symbol is representing because there's no, there's no SIM card in this thing yet. So um, that's kind of interesting. But let's hit the menu button. So it has a phone book, a call center, messaging, Bluetooth, remote notifier, remote capture. It's got a camera. What? That can't, that can't be. We're, oh, there's no camera on this. There can't be. Um, Anti-lost. Some kind of security features. Multimedia. I can't even imagine what that is. An organizer. Settings. This thing's actually 
pretty and and profiles. I'm I'm actually kind of shocked at how many options are here. Um, let's go ahead and uh, before before we do anything else, this is not a review. Like I said, this is an unboxing. Um, I do want to um, see if uh, it can make a call. I am going to pop my SIM card in this thing. Uh, but before we do that, um, I am going to do the main the main test. As we said in the intro, this is this is a super thin phone, one of the thinnest, lightest phones ever made. It's supposed to fit in your wallet. So let's see. It, it definitely, you know, is has a small enough footprint to fit in the wallet. My concern is the thickness. It's pretty thick. Let's see. We're gonna try to be literal about this first. Let's try to put it in the actual credit card part. Okay. It does fit. It's thick. I mean, it would not be comfortable to put in your back pocket, I don't think, but it does fit. Let's be a little less literal though. Let's try putting it, let's try putting it in this, uh, let's just try putting it in like the cash part of the wallet. That's better. I feel like that sits flatter that way. Um, I could see carrying this around in your wallet. I really could, actually. Um, huh. I mean, it's going to make your wallet fatter. I don't know if it's better in your wallet or just if it'd be in your pocket, but still, that's that's actually kind of impressive. Um, okay. Well, what we're going to do next is we're actually going to pop uh, my SIM card in this thing. This bad boy. Let's see what it can do. Local call. No, oh, hands free. Hello? Look at that. Hello? Hello? Hey, what's up? Hey, you're on Rando Tech Info. Um, oh, I am. Yes, I'm testing, I'm testing this phone, and it actually works. It sounds pretty good on my end. That's crazy. So this, yeah. okay. Uh, wow. I was actually almost expecting it to not even work. Okay, well, that's fantastic. Okay, excellent. Thank you, baby. Bye. Bye. Okay, so the phone works. Um, I'm kind of I'm kind of stunned right now. Um, okay, so I'm actually pretty impressed uh, with this phone with the M5. It works really well. Uh, it makes calls. Uh, it's got actually a decent amount of options on it. It's got Bluetooth for crying out loud. I mean, it's got hands-free. It's got a hands-free speaker on it. Uh, and just so you know what we're working with here, just so you properly manage your expectations, this is $12. This is a $12 phone that I got off Amazon. So um, pretty crazy. I know I'm not the first person to reveal this phone or talk about it or probably even unbox it, but uh, I am going to do what I think is a first. I'm going to keep my SIM card in this phone and I'm going to use it. I'm going to make it my daily use phone for a week or however long I can stand it. And at the end of that time, I will make another video and I will tell you whether or not a $12 phone in 2019 is actually a viable option. So stay on the lookout for that video. Um, if you like this video or find it useful, please don't hesitate to give me a thumbs up and a sub. Until next time, this is Random Tech Info, signing out.